Hello, this is Axilog and this is the sixth part of the starter mapping tutorial. Today we want to talk about yeah, some water stuff like flow maps or water caustics. Yeah, um, this is my tutorial island and as you can see uh, here is a flow in the water and yeah it's on an area where yeah where it should not flow um, this is cause we use the water plane from the island and yeah in the island on this area is i don't know a river yeah and to get rid of this i show you how to change the the material of the water plane so that we can get rid of this flow. Okay, at first we select the water plane and go to this material. It's the top material that you see when you fly over it. Um, so now we copy this material into our folder. Um, here it's my stuff folder. And I drag it in and copy here. Then I go onto this folder and yeah, wait, we rename this so it's easier to find and yeah, it's very annoying if you have very much stuff that have the same name and when you search something you can't find it only by the name cause there are yeah 10 things that have the same name it's yeah annoying so okay now it's renamed we open it and this is quite easy we go onto the flow map and the flow phasing speed is yeah how fast the water moves. You can put this up if you want to have the flow faster or you can put it on the zero and then there is no flow. Um, yeah I would let this checked here because uh, if you uncheck it it use the basic speed and yeah, we don't know what this is, so we want it of zero. So yeah, let's check here and save. Okay, now we have our own top material. We can use it, and as you see, Yeah, you see, no more flow. Yeah, the water moves. Yeah, like it should. No flow. Yeah, um, later I can show you in an advanced tutorial how to make your own flow maps and let the water flow in the direction you want. Yeah, for the second part of the video, I'm on the island to show you some water caustics. Um, those reflection can be on here yeah, some areas in your map uh, where you don't want them, and um, I want to show you how to get rid of them. Um, the water caustics are yeah to to fake the reflections of the light in uh, swallow water and yeah basically it's in the water in the ocean water so here you can see it it's uh, yeah only in the not so deep areas and yeah 
it's to fake the yeah the effects that the sun the sunlight would do in yeah that type of water and normally it's only in yeah in the region that is uh, your your ocean water level and yeah uh, cost is this uh, from the directional light we can go there here no not rename and the light function material LF caustic inst caused this so we now could yeah put it out of here and you see the effect is away but the problem is yeah if you put it out um, yeah it's even even under your normal ocean plane is it away too so if you still want to have it under your ocean plane so that your beaches look better but yeah you don't want it on some places of your map where lakes or rivers are on the island um, then you need to make your own material here so for this we undo the delt and go to this material so and now we copy the parent material and the material instance into our folder and rename them change the parent on the caustics instant to our main material okay now it's our new test LF caustics material we can save it uh, now we open it so this is what yeah caused the caustics and here is a map caustics water mask you can click on it and we go onto the folder okay on this file you can see the areas where the effects are um, yeah so screen blue and red areas there are the effects I'm now here and yeah you see where the effect is um, there are if you open this with maybe GIMP you will see that here are yeah some more areas in yeah near black um, and yeah there are effects too um, I can explain this in a later advanced tutorial um, to show you how you can make uh, this caustics on your own map um, on the areas where are your rivers and your lakes and yeah but yeah in another tutorial so what we now need is to make our own file with yeah no information in so we can get rid of this caustics so for this we 
close yeah we minimize it and start GIMP and we make our own file yeah sorry for the German version of GIMP but yeah ich bin eben Deutsch so we make a new one and use 1024 and another 1024 and yeah make it transparent okay and now we export it yeah we export it on our desktop and we use a TGA and yeah let it name empty so we now export it yeah and now we have here the empty TGA we can now close it and we can go back to our stuff here and now import it we go to the desktop and here is the empty TGA we save it okay now we open our test LF caustics and put it here where the other map normal is so we select empty and put it in here and now save this okay now you can put your own material instance in here and you see it's not there but it's still here in the ocean water um, sometimes it can be that uh, if you change it it's still there um, yeah but if you save it and then close the dev kit and reopen it um, yeah it need a reopen of the dev kit to to get this effect sometimes okay um, i hope you learned something and see you in the next tutorial